That walk was aimed at addressing concerns and taking proactive steps to improve safety. It's a crazy last few weeks or a couple months really in the neighborhood. Robbie Redinger is one of many to put on his walking shoes and take part in a community walk around the Patterson Park neighborhood on Tuesday. It's a chance for neighbors and community leaders to talk about crime prevention tips, note and submit street conditions to 311, and connect with police. Honestly, I just want to see change. I think that goes for everyone in the city. And, you know, it's just stepping up and letting your voice be heard. Making sure that we all know what's going on in the neighborhood. This comes as police investigate two recent violent incidents in the area. Early Tuesday morning, police say a 17-year-old tried to carjack a man in Canton at gunpoint. The driver, who had a licensed firearm, exchanged gunfire with the teen, and both were injured. And late last month, a man in Butchers Hill was ambushed and robbed by a group of young people. He ended up with a concussion, a black eye, and seven stitches. For us as uh, community members, and even for my kids as a parent, it's it's really just like there's a lot of obviously fear when you go outside, especially at night, that you could be carjacked, you could be robbed. We feel that this cop walk signifies uh, what needs what's needed for all of us to have more of a police presence, but also the juvenile issue that we're um, we're now seeing here. Redinger hopes that walks like these continue to happen and leads to safer neighborhoods. Honestly, it just comes down to consequences and rehabilitation for the youth in this city. And that's not to say, you know, obviously I have, obviously there's things that are, are long-term and systemic that need to be addressed, but there also needs to be short-term changes and consequences that also need to be addressed. And that, I feel, it helps everyone. Now, police have made two arrests in the Butchers Hill case. In the Canton case from early this morning, the victim who flagged down police for help after the shooting is expected to recover. That 17-year-old is in, quote, grave condition. Reporting live in Patterson Park, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.